<laughs> See that Tesla? Listen, I swear to God, Teslas take the piss. They're all trolls. Everyone that's got a Tesla is a troll. Anyway, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to, wow, I was about to say living life fast to man like Ricky. It's been a while since we shot a video. We're out in a 505 horsepower Mark 7 Golf R. And of course, there is not enough Golf R's on the internet, which is why Ricky's here to save the day with another Golf R POV drive. So guys, enjoy the video. <laughs> Features. I think I've filmed a shitload of golfs myself. Just want to say, I am back to making content. I am not playing games. I'm back. I actually shot this video with Sid North, aka Sideways Sid, and bro, no audio. Imagine that. I bust my new GoPro set up, obviously facing us in the cabin. No audio. Swear to God, pissed. You guys should be seeing. I don't know, the quality should be a bit better. I'm running the GoPro 10 right now. But um, more excitingly, as I say, I'm back to making content. Me and Sid, we're going to jump on as well. Started doing a bit of filming together. I was really debating to just return to LLF, but you know what? I'm just going to stick to this channel for now. I like how diverse the content is on here. You know, I can do all my cars. I just bought an Evo 6, some of you will know. We've got the car features, we've got my training, reaction videos. It's just too much content that I can do on this channel. On top of that, I'm really enjoying myself. I don't feel as pressured. You know what, let's just get it down. Bro, this car is very fast man sorry so yeah as i say i'm like really enjoying myself on a man like ricky i'm able to train six days a week like my god i feel so good spending time with the family and less anxiety so anyway guys as i say mark 7 golf r another car that i purchased for the business llf games of course somebody will be winning it uh tomorrow actually no today someone's gonna be winning this car today for 99p there's only a few tickets left so if you are interested check it out link in the description but yeah it's a 505 brake horsepower golf r you can hear it's pretty loud from inside the cabin it's running a, a venom hybrid turbocharger apparently this car has been built by a company called devil developments not sure if it's running devil developments ecu software i think it is an apr tune because there is an apr badge on the back just give it a flat head I've been daily in this car, right? And uh, I didn't realize it was actually as fast as it is. Like, originally I was like, no, nah, this ain't 500 brake, but my God, it's 100% 500 brake. So, um, got Devil Developments gearbox software. It's been built by Devil Developments. I've seen these guys on the internet. There's uh, Jamie officially gas. I've seen has made content, or he does builds with these guys. So they're obviously certified when it comes to, to the Volkswagen stuff. Uh, it is a dyno printed 505 horsepower as well, by the way. We also have these beautiful carbon effect seats. So these, uh, this is an optional extra, a very expensive optional extra when I once upon a time had my Mark 7 Golf. I had the black Vienna leather seats, which were like 1,500 to two grand, I think, optional extra. I, mean, I assume that these were like two and a half to three grand. Not sure how much they are now. Whoa, man, it's a seriously fast car. I'm not gonna lie, I think I may have already said it. Uh, I didn't believe this car was 500 brake initially, but, um, now actually pushing it, driving it in a video, uh, I can definitely say that it's 500 horsepower. Very progressive, it's not just all or nothing. 505 horsepower, uh, APR software, which they do a lot of off the shelf maps, stage ones, two, two pluses, and uh, they're obviously gonna do softwares for if you have an upgraded turbocharger. We've got the flat bottom steering wheel. You can see we've got all this carbon fiber, Alcantara on the sides. We've got Alcantara over the, the central bit. Not usually seen this. Looks pretty smart with the, with the black Volkswagen badge. We've got these uh, aluminum effect paddles. And of course, with the DSG box, you can slap it to the left. If you're on your manually shift, you can just kind of use it like, it like as if it was a manual gearbox. 
far is literally nailed to the ground. Like a throw 100 brake at most cars and they start to oversteer, they start to understeer, you need to upgrade the brakes. I mean, this car is running upgraded brakes from uh, the Volkswagen Club Sport S, upgraded discs. I think Ferrodo uh, upgraded pads. It's got a three inch exhaust with RS3 tips. some nice whooshes coming off the back of this as well so sick but yeah honestly it's just like a gold four man with a with the power you just wish that you had you know ten thousand pounds in modifications whatever more does this car got guys it's got um ngk spark plugs uh, we've got upgraded high pressure and low pressure fuel pumps upgraded intake uh, air filter upgraded intercooler do notice like when I come on boost, I think it might be because I'm not in race, but it almost stays on the throttle ever so slightly. Wow, man, definitely faster than the TTS acceleration. It feels a bit more brutal. Man, look at this, it's nice. Nothing to the car. You see me take the RS3 for a POV drive or the TTS? Like this goal far, I feel like, I'm not on its limit, but I'm satisfied. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I feel like I'm driving the car hard. Um, it's loud, there's loads of drama. It's an exciting car to drive. Like, not trying to say the other cars weren't exciting, but I just felt that you had to drive those cars even faster. But yeah, we obviously know the RS3 is a, is a, is a different animal. But these goal fars, as I say, they're the benchmark, man. Like they're the new, you remember back in the day it was the B7 RS4, that was the car, right? Quattro, four wheel drive, that's the car that the bank robbers and thieves would always steal. But it's, you know what I mean? Now you can just go grab a Golf R, do you know what I mean? Stage one, stage two tune, like, it's giving any car a problem. the hell out of it it's not a thing he is loud you can hear like obviously when you go into fifth or sixth gear it's not as loud um what have we got it in we got it in... yeah we got it in race so yeah you've got different driving modes guys comfort normal race you've got eco and individual which means you can set up just how you like um it's comfortable man do you know what i mean um heated seats we've got air conditioning electric windows you've got loads of adjustments there's not many blind spots you can see very clearly out of the cabin of the golf R. and yeah i just personally like the look on this it's fully murdered out black everything and as some of you know i buy these cars based on cars i purchase myself do you know what i mean you know what i'm saying people so um as mentioned i am back to making some content i'm not even playing around i really am back to making content i am excited man very excited i've got loads written down i just bought an evo 6 rs some of you may have seen it on instagram oh my god i just bought the best car that i've ever owned i don't care that's the best car I bought like i love it i'm daily in that shit like i ain't even bought that for the channel by the way i bought that for myself yeah new mindset it's not about just content we'll make content but that's for me man, that is for me, Evo 6 RS. So we're back at the unit, just thought I'd end it on a little walk around. As you can see, fully murdered out, looking like some shadow back there boy. Got the Team Dynamic, 18 inch alloys, 505 brake horsepower man. Wouldn't say it's a sleeper, she does look a little extra man on the road. Um, you can see we've got the lime green calipers. I think this is what you'd find on like the Porsche GT3 RS, remember that green that they do? You've got these M3 style mirrors, they're not M3 style, but you know what I'm trying to say. I think they look pretty cool on the Golf. We've got the wind deflectors, Max and side blades. We also have upgraded GTI Club Sport S brakes, discs. You see front bumpers looking nice and aggressive. We've got these canards at the top and bottom. Obviously with the Max and splitter, we've got blacked out and carbon badges. We've got this red line, this is almost from the GTI. Uh, we've got tinted windows. It is a two door as well. Come around to the rear, we've got a carbon fiber wing, we've got darkened tail lights, we have the RS3 tips as well, which 
may be controversial to some people, but I just think it looks right, man. Obviously, it's not got an RF3 engine in it, but I think it looks just right on the Golf R. We've got the Maxton diffuser alongside this APR badge here, which tells me that it must be APR tuned. Why on earth would you have an APR badge on the back? It's had a rear wiper delete as well. Lovely looking car. As you would have already seen, 505 horsepower, absolute weapon. Some will be winning it in literally a couple of hours time. Uh, this video was meant to go up a lot sooner, but yeah, man, I enjoy doing these little POV drives. As I say, I'm back to making content. Not sure what the lighting is looking like right now, people. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And obviously, ticket link will be in the description of this car. Uh, the car is probably going to be sold out anyway. But as always, I'll see you guys soon. Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. Keep up when I speed up. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh, well, that's your girl in my hotel. That's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules disappear.